Hello and welcome to the UC Application mini tutorial series hosted by UC Santa Barbara. This video will detail how to enter college level or dual enrollment courses for freshman applicants. The academic history section of the application is your opportunity to demonstrate your successes inside the classroom. Please note that the UCs do not request any transcripts with the application. Therefore, applicants are responsible for self-reporting all of the A3G coursework within this section. The A3G courses are essentially the core courses that we require students to complete for all UC campuses. It is recommended that you obtain an unofficial copy of your transcripts before you begin working on this section, as it is very important that the courses and grades you enter correspond exactly with what appears on your transcript. If you took any college courses and generated a transcript prior to graduating high school, you must also report them in the academic history section titled Colleges Attended in High School. This includes any college coursework, even college courses that were taken on your high school campus. To start, you will simply need to click the Add College button, which will then ask you questions about the college or colleges that you have attended, are currently attending, or plan to attend in the spring semester of your senior year. First, you will need to specify whether your college was in California, out of state, or outside of the US. Different options will be presented for you based on your selection. If the college that you have attended is within California, you will be able to use a search bar to select the college. However, if the college is located in a different state or country, you will first need to specify which state or country before you are able to search for your school using the search bar. Again, be sure that you select the correct college in the correct state and city. If you are not able to find your college by using the search bar, make sure to follow the suggestions under can't find your college. This includes making sure your spelling is correct and leaving words like college or university out of your search. Keep in mind that you can always search using the city the college is located in. We much prefer that you find your college using the search bar, but if you are searching for a college outside of California or outside of the US and cannot find it using the search bar, you can use the manually enter college option below the search results in order to proceed. This option will become available after attempting to search more than one time. Once you have either found your college or selected to enter it manually, you will then enter the dates in which you attended this college, as well as the grades and academic terms. If you took summer courses, be sure to check the appropriate box so you will be prompted to enter those courses as well. Selecting the terms attended is very important since if you forget to select a term that you attended, you will not be able to enter courses and grades for that term later in the application. Lastly, in this section, you will be asked about the college's grading system. If you attended more than one college, you will need to repeat this process for each college that you have attended through the end of your high school graduation. If you are done entering colleges at this point, you can select, I've finished adding colleges, and you will be able to begin entering the college courses you completed. Students who attended a college in California will find their courses in a dropdown by subject. Once you find the course, check the box of the course and or the courses that you have taken or plan to take before high school graduation. For every course that you've entered, you will need to select the grades you received from the drop down menu. If you are not able to find your course or courses in the list of disciplines, you will be able to manually enter the course or courses by checking the box, I don't see my courses, which is at the bottom of the page. You will then enter the course information manually. If you attended a college from outside of California or outside of the US, you will need to manually enter the courses just as was shown in the last slide. I hope this information has been helpful. If you have any questions about UC Santa Barbara, please feel free to email UCSB for me at sa.ucsb.edu. We are happy to help applicants and counselors in any way that we can. Continue watching this playlist as well as our other tutorial playlists on our YouTube channel for assistance in filling out your UC application. Best of luck to you in the application process and thank you for joining.